Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith. I'm the product manager for Oracle SQL Developer Web. In today's very quick video, I'm going to show you how to take data from a CSV or Excel file and import that as a new table in your Oracle database. So just quickly, uh, what is uh, SQL Developer Web and when's it available? It's available right now in the Oracle Cloud across all of the autonomous database cloud services whether it's the always free or the commercial shared and dedicated platforms, does have both a data warehouse and transaction processing uh, shape you can choose from. I'm here more talk about our on-premise solution. So using uh, Oracle REST Data Services or ORDS version 19.4, you can make SQL Developer Web available to anyone in your IT organization who needs a web interface to interact with their Oracle database. So we give you a SQL worksheet for doing ad hoc queries and running SQL scripts. You have the ability to create, edit uh, database objects. We give you performance management screens, and we give you the ability to generate relational diagrams to reverse engineer and create data dictionary reports for your Oracle schemas. This is all provided via ORDS, which is uh, another uh, technology that's included with your Oracle database license for no additional cost. It provides HTTPS access to your Oracle database. We use that to build a nice rich HTML5 Oracle JET web application that is SQL Developer Web. And the most prominent and probably most useful screen in the entire app is the SQL worksheet. And this is where the import from Excel feature is going to live, which I will now show. To get started, all I need to do is drag and drop a file into that panel, and we're going to immediately interrogate the data and try to best guess the data types based on the amount of rows I've said to preview, which in this case is 100. Um, now what I need to do is go through here and change the data types um, where the best guess wasn't correct. I know I've got at least one row in a distance, for example, that has a comma in it, so it forced it to vericare, but I'm fine for that to fail, so I'm gonna hard code it back over to number. Uh, I'm unchecking columns that I don't want included. Um, as I scroll over, I can see some of the sample data, and I need to provide a format mask for that date, so we're able to interpret that text and have the database stored as a date. I'm gonna select my primary key, um, and I've changed um, the data types from varicares to numbers, and I need to downgrade the precision there. Um, 4,000 is not legal. Um, that's actually a bug that we're going to have fixed in a later release. Um, but for now, you'll need to be wary of that if you do change from varicare to number to make sure that that precision makes sense for a number. Uh, we're now going to show you the DDL that's generated, and you can Scroll down to see the columns that we're importing and what they're mapped as. As soon as you click finish, it's basically going to upload and do the insert. We're using array batch processing and it handled that 500 rows very, very quickly. I had one row fail. Uh, I can scroll through this and see the row. Um, there again, distance failed because there's a comma and that's not valid for an integer or for a number. This data is actually stored in a table, um, the SDW error activities, um, and you could use an insert as a select to put that missing row in later. We've uh, automatically refreshed the call or the table list, and I'm going to query that data, and I can now see my 500 sum uh, records. Uh, in this case, I've uploaded a CSV export of my Strava data, which is a um, tracking app for exercise. Thanks for your time. I hope this gives you a better idea of how this feature works. If you want to learn more about SQL Developer Web, check out the other videos in the playlist. And don't forget to check out all the great content on our Oracle Doc site. And of course, our friend Tim Hall over at Oracle Base also has some great content for SQL Developer Web. Thanks and have a good day.